I'm blowing my nose. We're back. We're back. It's time for a stream. Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> good, good to see you today. Oh, first stream of Tuesday. We're going to be playing some more World War II Call to Arms Gates of Hell today. And I know everyone in chat just got here for the first time. I know we're late today. And it's um, after 4 p.m., which is crazy. But I'm so glad you could all make it. I, I almost missed it. If you have questions, don't ask them. I thought the stream started earlier. I guess I was just paranoid and got here at the start. True. Oh, the, hey, look at all these subs from today. Wow. Why to be here? Subscribe 44 minutes before the stream even started for 63 months. Thanks for the sub, Y2B. to be super nice of you. Electroraptor also subbed for 15 months. Wow. Thanks, Electroraptor. Kent sent did something happen 23 minutes ago? Hope you're doing well, Etel. I was. I was doing it. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Also, what's up, War of the Worlds and Celery Sticks? Thank you, War of the Worlds. Forget to sub to Zavok and Celery Sticks for pumping it. <laughs> Do you always give subs? before the stream starts. All right, we're gonna continue our American campaign and not do anything rash today. We've got a 40 millimeter automatic that has replaced the half track 3.7 that we did have before. And I've added a P47 recon. I don't think I've ever played on Chopin, or at least if I have, I don't remember. And we're just gonna jump in and go. I also need to find a Hearts of Iron full soundtrack. Here we go. Fastest stream start ever. I don't have anything to talk about. Um, three body problem. First episode sucks. Uh, Monarch is not that great of a show. Anna Sawai is in both that and Shogun, and it's crazy to see her in a great show and a terrible stinky show at the same time. Uh, what else we got? Anything else, chat? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to see where these dudes are going to spawn first. Uh, what is this map? It's more of a field. It is more of a field. And we're actually closer to our target and objectives. This looks very doable. This looks very doable. Okay, everything's fairly concentrated in the southwest. <laughs> Every infantry art asset looks like it's from a horror game. <laughs> kind of does, yeah. So this road is going to be a big one, right? Like holding, we, we, we probably want to extend to to here and not let this house block our vision where they can just roll up on the house. We probably want to hit this crossroads and then down here, it gets a little more difficult because we kind of need to go, sorry, we kind of need to hit, hold this sight line right here by build building up some forces right here and then we need something here and then we kind of need to just like extend across the streets more or less i think that looks like a like a really good 
position. So we need to start moving our slow movers up as soon as possible. And then we need like field RD in the middle to kind of support the middle. All right, that's a start. Let's get the engineers out here as fast as possible and then put the medics and tell them not to return fire. All right, then we've got, I know that we can tow. Oh, it's like a nighttime map. Oh dear. We can only tow one of the things. So in my opinion, it's kind of like not super worth Oh no, it's nights. How's that gonna affect our visibility? Now we need a spotlight. <laughs> so we need eight more deployment points to get the rest of our troops. Ready to roll. This one can't be towed, unfortunately. <laughs> they will not have night vision. Of this, I am certain. I'm ready. Okay, let's pause for a second and kind of decide how these defenses should go. These things bother me. I actually have an idea. What if I just take my my vehicle? Oh, it's it this you can't break the embankment. Never mind. Yeah, I guess I can't break the embankment. That makes sense. You can break the fence, but not the embankment. Okay. Well, that that's a problem because I was going to build like a trench here, <laughs> like a big foxhole. Oh, and then we have this hill that we can get flanked on. Who did this? Who's responsible for this ridge line? We can get flanked from there pretty easily. All right, let's turn that down a little bit. I think um, the only way to do this is to build on the other side, I think. In my opinion. Oh, this is rough. Because we got the same issue in here. Where there's just this annoying bank. But I don't want to build in front of this because that's like too far up. I'm probably gonna dig like, I can't turn. Two small foxholes over there. Okay, that'll keep that guy busy for a bit. What about these guys? Oh, I got an idea. I'm sure that they can go through the hedges, like with the tanks and such. Yes, sir. But we can actually build our very own tank barriers. So why don't we just do like one, two, three, four there. And then just to be.
really obnoxious. We'll kind of like funnel them down the road and then the first one that gets killed. Okay, that might be too many, but they can handle it. All right, we need to get the rest of our troops rolling in. I kind of forgot about them. Uh, where do I expect the majority forces to come in? Let's go ahead and just get you guys up. And we'll figure out where you go. And I just need to just start moving. We need to get the flak in. Oh god, the flak. We'll start here. And here. I might be able to tow them. Hold on, hold on. No. <laughs> I don't think so, anyway. I can tow that. Alright, I need to tow that. So we got one rifle company. 45th Division are basics. We have an officer platoon. Uh, those guys will be two. We have... The scout car, which I'm gonna make three. Okay, so... I'm expecting that we're going to need better sight lines down here. Can you have some water? Medic standing by. Okay. The chicken the road? All right, group everybody up. <laughs> I like when it just does question marks when it's not sure. Ready to go, sir. All right, this is like my tank crew. And then we've got this Willis is just a scout with a supply trailer. Is that all the supplies we have? I'm a little worried about that, actually. <sighs> What's up, Mitch Davis? Just in time. Yeah, the stream just started. Thanks for eight months. How you doing? This is the fastest ratio of gameplay ever, dude. To stream time start. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm trying to figure out if we're if we're defending here, we need to kind of like keep parity with how far up everybody is so that we don't get accidentally surrounded on two different sides. I'm thinking about putting, like, one of our flak guns inside of this little spot, actually. And then building this up. Hi. Already on it. Are you guys still digging or not? Hi. I can't really tell. All right, this field gun, we're going to go ahead and put some uh, some sandbags, dig those in. Awaiting orders, sir. And I'm not sure if I really want to go, like, in front of this line, but I might with, like, a small foxhole and just... Assume that this dude is not going to... Well, he might. <laughs> he he just might shoot us in the back of the head. So put a couple of voxels there. I know that's not symmetrical, that's okay. Trying to just get some basic fortifications going on. Alright, I need to get these dudes doing something though, and we gotta get the tanks in. I think we're going to hold this crossroads. Which means... 
We need a large foxhole like here, basically. Oh, they're already on their way? <sighs> uh, no way, dude. I, I just got here. They're already spawning? This is a problem. The arrows, dude, the arrows are here already. Can you see through these bushes? Yeah, you can see, you can see and shoot through those bushes. Understood. I feel like we're gonna have this issue. Where is bro, where is bro going? You literally rolled the earliest spawn timer. Wait, the spawn timer is a random roll? The, <laughs> the dice, the dice are loaded. The dice might be loaded. All right, I ain't ready, dude. I'm trying to get tanks in the position. I'm trying to get everything in the position, dude. We ain't ready. I say first wave, but the first time the CPU gets to spin their points. I see. Okay, <clears throat> I got mortars. And I don't know where they should go. Probably like back here. And then for the 60 millimeter mortar, back there looks good. Okay, we need to get, uh, we need to get butts in seats here. Also, you guys can, Build actually this is not where I want you to Oh god. I can't you can't cancel the order that builds them sandbags and I just yeah. I think it's obvious where this command went wrong. I'm about to have Omega problems. Where are you, sir? You're just kind of parked here. Where are you, sir? Okay. I'm trying to make sure everyone is at least like on some orders here. Will this dude shoot the embankment directly in front of him? It's more likely than you think. <laughs> Consider it done. Let's back it up. Okay. So everyone spawned in. Everyone's got orders. Where are the Ingies? This Ingie's like, I don't know what you want me to do, sir. Somebody just got a kill. Um, did you just blow up a half track full of people with artillery man? Artillery men in them? Chat, did we just not see this dude until he got right here? Tanks 
Well, this, uh... This went rogue fast, but also these guys blew up in a perfect spot, because that'll block up the road real good. Which may cause problems, depending. Okay, I got a lot of stuff. I'm just shining a light like, hey, my soldiers, they're right here. <laughs> um, we need to do a couple things. I'm going to have to do some pause champ gaming real quick. Because I need these guys. To spread out a little bit. Okay, I'm a little worried about this area right here. This is a big weak spot for us. Uh, I need to allow the mortars to go ahead and start popping off. I need you guys to make sandbags. <sighs> what is this? Where is this? Where Where is the refill? All right, NGs. I ain't ready, chat. Hold on. That dude, what is this gun doing? There's no way that this is faster than the other route that you could have taken. There's no way. This is going to be a late game reinforcement. <sighs> Bro. I... I'm going to get a truck. We're not starting another game without a truck for these dudes to tow it. Google Maps said that it's two minutes faster. The order, sir. All right. World Crush AI Veteran. Ready to go, sir. Chat, I'm nervous. I don't like looking over there because I just saw a Defender AI get wrecked. Look at this. I want to watch this, but I need to be building defenses for my team. I also never figured out where... Oh, here we go. There's a target-rich environment. That's correct. Everyone, continue looking the wrong way so you just never know when you're getting flanked. You're doing great. That a 7.5 centimeter artillery piece just got the kill feed blown up. I keep saying it, but this game is stupid cool. Yeah, I really like all of these, like, details that you can do. All right, chat, I just gotta focus, dude. I just gotta build my man. I need to build my man some defenses. Where's the other guy? We have to trust in the other flank. Keep your enemy tanks 
Um, is that a friendly engineer flamethrower just on the front line being a Chad? <laughs> yeah, just all by himself. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. He doesn't answer to you. He answers to the flame. How did this happen? Serious question. How did this happen? We got three guys in foxholes up here who are fine. We got artillery. We got a... Like, how did this guy get wrecked? And why is there a tank looking backwards? Any orders, sir? Ready. Why is everyone looking backwards? That worries me. Is there- there's not anybody back here. Alright, they're sending reinforcements. This dude is still lost. I had big plans to play Baldur's Gate 3, now I gotta load this up. You do what you gotta do. pretty comfortable with this side now. Did you get another, uh, sandbag? I'm ready. We're ready. All right, you went too far. No action, chat. All right, there we go. I had to make sure that I drove this so that it's, um, specifically did not bowl over any of our defenses. I'm going to go bring some ammo to these guys. Bro, I just watched this guy. I'm glad I didn't put any people. I was going to put people here. <laughs> but the field already is going rogue all the time. <sighs> Should have put HQ there. Okay, here's what I gotta do. These two guys... Seems like we're getting highly concentrated on this side. I'm just going to give him some nice shield here. So he can just pick his targets as he sees fit. He should have pretty good sight lines. Decent at least. Rip airborne engineer flame guy. Rip flame guy. Come on. 
Oh, these are the wrong two guys. Who are these two guys? Uh oh. still moving dude where did I tell you to go sir he's already how do you deploy deploy oh we're dead it's too late for us we're dead They're both still rolling, dude. Control? Uh, we ain't gonna make it. He's already here. This is way too far out. This guy's super, super far. He's gonna go right for... If you look at his trail, right? He's here. This is the plane. He's gonna bomb all of this. Bro, figure it out, dude. I hate how the pathfinding sometimes goes. He's gonna just roll over all of the... Yep, all the sandbags. Fantastic. Okay. It's too late, chat. They can't... I can't even see the plane. We just know it's there, so how can the flak shoot it if they can't see it? The flak is as far away as possible as well. Where is it? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where is the bomb? They were only planning the bombing. He's coming back. Well, that's not good. Okay, so... Okay, well, I need to get everybody back. Okay. Shit! Accidental right click. Ready, sir. Yes, sir. No one is in their foxholes anymore. Oh, this side's getting kind of pummeled, huh? Yo, who shot my NGs? Okay, I'm a little confused as to what is actually happening now. And what I should be doing now. Uh, this is not good. I'm learning the shortcomings of field artillery.
Wow, they're uh Alright, I gotta worry about the the AA though. Ready. He's still planning. Where's the medic that I told to come over here, dude? Also, we need to do some repairs. Loud! Who did you just blow up? You worry me. <laughs> oh, you blew up this dude. Nice job. Look. You guys can just drive over this. I don't know if you knew that, but you can. It's a miracle. You don't have to go all the way around. All right, put your sandbags down. We we get we plug this hole. I'm a little worried about this dude shooting at the other dudes. No problem. So I'm actually gonna like move him up. <sighs> okay, how are we doing over here? Vehicle repaired. Here's a medic. medic I'll get, it done. get that guy. He's dying. He's bleeding out. You know what? I don't trust the field guns. <laughs> I don't trust any of you guys. chat oh no my 57 just got blasted that is bad are you gonna heal this guy or not in danger all right this is a 10 centimeter that hasn't been working until now Oh, they got a rifle sergeant and commander from this side. Come on, team! Ita, I don't know if you know this, but the medics have a building they can construct. For what? I I know that they can make uh, you can make a medic tent. <laughs> Why do I need a building? I'm a little concerned with the people who are dead out here and dying out here, you know? Oh, we're having we're having some difficulties. That plane is still planning things as well. Yeah, the plane is still just down there. And I don't know... I mean, we have a steward that's kind of holding it down, but we're getting bombarded over here at the same time. So I wonder if there's, like, something else I could bring to bear on this. Everybody's dying. 
Uh, the Willis HMG just got a kill because the Willis is god tier and overpowered. Uh, we are, however, running out of ammo. I wish there was an easier way to keep track of ammo. I'm going to make a suggestion to the devs again, okay? A small, thin meter. Think Hearts of Iron unit card health or organization. Or, I don't know, <laughs> ammo. Could just be a small orange bar on the side of every unit card to represent how much ammo they have. Hearts of Iron does something similar. Or Total War, yeah. Or, or any RTS. Because it's very micromanaging to try to keep track of who doesn't and who does have good ammo. Like, you have to kind of open eye and then just click on everyone and then see if they do or don't. And then sometimes it doesn't even open their ammo. Why does this have a... Why is there a browning 30 cal on my 10 centimeter... Maybe I... I have no idea. Maybe I took a machine gunner and put him on a mortar team in the previous life? These guys are super dead. I think this is currently the least useful Sherman. is dead, dude. Look out, enemy armor incoming. Oh, it's past him? We've got enemy tanks here. Oh my god. How are they shooting me, dude? Am I shooting through a house? I can't see this guy. All right, let the AI handle it. Deep breath, deep breath. That's why this game's crazy fun, because you can just, like, take over at any time. Uh, some things are damaged. A bit unsurprisingly. I don't know who does and doesn't have ammo. I know where the ammo is. You don't have ammo. All right, let's give you ammo first. Let's just do a little inventory. Because what I want is to figure out where my medics are and try and heal some dudes. All 
Alright, medics are en route. We can't seem to get a shot on this dude who can just see us from mile. They're shooting through their vehicle. Which is cheating. That is cheating. Thank God the plane bugged, otherwise this might be a huge casualty mission. <laughs> yeah, the plane is still flying around over there. <laughs> oh no. Also, I'm not sure if the medic saved people or if the people died. Yeah, I don't know how to get that dude back there. Are you out of are you out of ammo, sir? What is this? High explosive shells? Uh-oh. Are you out of ammo? Heat? Uh-oh. Everybody's out of ammo. Look, let me drive. Never mind. I won! But I gotta kill everybody! Alright, we got a GG, so like, we can leave if we want, but look at all this stuff! If we can just survive! The high explosive shells aren't cutting the chat. The stupid trees! They gotta get some armor-piercing shells, dude. Wow, this thing runs out of ammo way faster than I expected it, to be honest. He's got 31. I'm gonna take a tactical retreat here. Are you guys out? Keeping the 10 centimeters supplied might save the day here, to be honest. It's going crazy! They're advancing! Whoa, I shot a dude off the back out of the driver's seat! This game's insane, bro! going this what the hell's happening we got the 10 centimeter holding it down it still says enemy aircraft inbound they got more vehicles pulling up to the side We don't have 
have any ammo. We're out. Oh, we're out. The steward. So yes, sir. Everybody in field repairs. Hold that flank. Enemy tank. We only have five explosive rounds. No. no. Oh, instant. Chad, I just remembered I have special powers that I could have used the whole time. My turn. Incoming mortar rounds. Incoming bomber! to make sure they were gone dude they blew up my m3 steward what was that what was that chat what was that was there some art do they have super artillery in the distance Got him. Got him. M1911, baby. Sniped in the head. Enemy aircraft inbound. All right. Uh, anyway, we won, but I need to see what I can get some as far as repairs because we need to make sure that they're like finished off. Where's my tank crew? All right, tank crew, let's start with the most dangerous, but also the closest. There's a perfectly good steward here that just has four dead bodies in it. The explosions are really crunchy sounding now. I like it. You're the second person that's mentioned sound. Did they do like a large audio pass on this game at some point? out the last of the crew it's still perfectly fine can only one person repair this maybe it only needs one repair what are your orders sir understood sir yeah we got a whole like spare tank crew why is this this plane is just bugged it's just in the corner the whole time We have no ant. We, ha we have to have more than one cargo trailer. I wouldn't mind just some old fashioned cargo boxes that just keep some of the most important things resupplied permanently where they just have their own personal box. That does make it dangerous if the box gets hit. But. All right, this vehicle is fixed for the lad who lost all of his friends. I'm ready. We need to figure out how to go... Actually, let's just do some scouting. We have a scout plane still. I don't want to die to Omega artillery over here somewhere. I probably should have done that a little further. Move flak over to the spinning plane. <laughs> it's just that would take like 30 minutes.
part one of the community update released last month it overhauled a lot of sounds wow i didn't know that there was a big update that recently found ya i found ya okay chat you know what we have to do I think you know what we have to do. Oh, we need a we need an extra driver. Yes, sir. Aye, sir. Wait. There's one here, just down the end of the road. Okay, so we got like two. One there, one way back there. They're holding two positions with some artillery. <laughs> They're camping their friends' bodies in Tarkov. Alright, let's start by reloading the gun. Oh, we're gonna drive really slow because this thing needs some repairs. The tires are messed up. It should get the job done. The steering on this is a little tough. I really like this aspect of the game, though. It's, it doesn't feel like it's just a gimmick. It's genuinely useful. Okay, we should be rolling up on them. If I remember exactly where this first one is. We should be rolling up directly behind them. Oh, hi, guys. Well, she's got three flat tires and gets two gallons to the mile. But she'll get you there. The car do be jiggling. The best thing this game does is not jiggle the camera just because the car is jiggling. Uh-oh. Any last words? Where do you think you're gonna turn that thing? Why do you guys have such big artillery already? This is scary, dude. This is... Uh oh. Oh, I'm almost dead. Cannon fire incoming! There's an MG nest over there! There were two of them. <sighs> I honestly thought we already saw them, but I guess there was another one even further back. M you know what, not MG Nest. My brain says things... It, there was a nest... ...of people. I mean, what are the odds that it turned completely back around, right? I'm gonna rescue Enemy my boy. Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, there he is. With the... 
Willis on fire. That's a that, this game looks cool, dude. I'm ready. Well, that Willis earned his keep. Honestly, trading a Willis for this kind of artillery piece is is good. This is gonna be cheat codes. If you want to see what might make me rage quit the game, it's uh, the artillery aspect. Okay. Now we claim our victory. Do not give them an inch. If there's more dudes, then we'll deal with that when we get there. Any orders, sir? Actually, you get out of that. Yes, sir. We need all of our tank crew. Awaiting orders, sir. I'm gonna put them in like group, let's say eight. That way I don't lose track of them. Go, and <clears throat> they gotta get to work doing some field repairs on stuff. That we can, way we can make some money. Hi, sir. So if it's on the minimap, it can be repaired. Which means this Stug 3, which gave us a lot of problems. 7.5 centimeter main gun. That was giving me some problems. Pretty big armor for even our 57. I don't know if our 57 was penetrating it very well. I don't. We ended up killing it with a bomb, so we might need to upgrade um, our anti-tank because 50 extra armor is ridiculous. Yes, sir. Awaiting orders, sir. I'm ready. Always, ready. always, always ready. I'm always ready. Okay, we can fix that one. Yes, sir. But yeah, having the tank crews go do the repairs make will make this process much more painless. Then we want to start taking um, our infantry and kind of running them over. And we're just going to use our basic infantry to basically ride in the now fixed vehicles and then sell most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. By the way, Sinless Moon, thanks again for the 24 months of sub. Any orders, sir? Happy two years. And also Valkyrie says, thanks for all the great streams over the past year, but only the last year. None before. Thanks for 12 months. Appreciate this up. Leafy Pew also for over three. Welcome back, Leafy Pew. Biff Gimble dropping 26. Very nice. What are your orders, sir? Much appreciated. Okay. Time to claim the spoils of our battle. So if you use infantry to repair and drive a tank and then sell the tank, do you lose that infantry? I think so, but I'd have to double check. The problem with it is you can get people who aren't supposed to, like if you fill a tank with infantry, <laughs> then infantry will be driving that tank in the next battle, which I don't think translates to a huge skill differential, but it does translate to repair speed if they have to do in combat repairs. You don't, they get sent back to their squad. Okay, interesting. That's pretty cool. Ready to go, sir. All right, this one's fixed. These should be perfectly operational. There's another tank. We got a lot of German armor. That was actually a pretty well done defense, all things considered, if I can toot my own horn a little. Considering that I, I think it would have gone worse had the bomber come back. But by the time the bomber came back, I at least had an opportunity to stop it with some flak. Like I did have my flak down right here waiting for him whether or not that would have been successful who can say but i did have 40 did millimeter from? on the intercept point between ready sir all right soldiers 
Go hop in your new rides. There's a Stug 3 over there. They started to leverage these a little bit more, huh? They're, they're, the armor is getting a little... a little spooky. Because we've got... Panzer 3s... F... with the Osf F... variation, which are getting... they are getting stronger. Always ready. Waiting orders, sir. I'm starting to get nervous. Ready to go. Okay, micromanagement is going well. Now you guys have a few more things I need you to go grab up here. Ready, sir. Is this the squad leader? All right, Rifleman, good luck grabbing the artillery piece. And then you got to go get the <clears throat> 10 centimeter field, heavy field gun, spicy. Uh-oh. Did I just select the whole, oh God. What have I done? I clicked the squad leader and then made, and everyone's in the first group. <laughs> Okay, hold, hold on. I don't even want this. I hate when that happens. Someone needs to hop in there. Ready, sir. That one's already got a guy. Yes, sir. That one doesn't. All right, you jump in there. Micro. Why do, dude, when you click the squad leader, it makes everyone else go to him. <laughs> Relax, everyone! Stop! You're causing problems, squad leader. Jesus, dude. They follow him. It's driving me crazy. Already on it, sir. That plane is coming straight for us. No, it's not. Yes, sir. All right, let's grab people from the other division. Wait, the other division got wiped out. Oh God, we lost our whole officer corps. Well, that's not good. Awaiting your command. Ready to go, sir. Hi, sir. Always ready. All right, you jump in this tank. Who's left? This is just a rifleman. Go claim the big boy artillery. And then I think we're kind of out of people. Yes, sir. Except for like engineers. Yes, sir. Ready, sir. Ready to go, sir. Ready, sir. Let's go. But if they go back to their own thing anyway, then I guess it doesn't matter. Leaving the jeeps for tanks to sell is probably worth it. Yeah. Right, I think we're going to get in most of them because I still have the actual pilots who are doing repairs here. I'm ready. Ready, sir. Ready to go, sir. So, like, we're actually in quite a few already. Ready, sir. I don't think we're missing any tanks. We're just missing, like, one 4.7 centimeter gun. I'm going to say that's good enough and lock it in. We killed 196. We lost 40. Rest in peace. Good fight, though. Time to go back on the offense. Uh, the Willis once again proves that it is a high value asset with 166 kills, possibly a little OP broken, but then again, the AI cheats, so I don't care.
Uh, Stewards are actually doing some work, but there are three of them. And then the 10 centimeter artillery continues to prove invaluable. Fifteen hundred percent effectiveness. Okay, two of our one of our steward crews got wiped. The other two are starting to become gamer gods. Especially this crew. They're like level five. How much research did we get? Four. We have four research, and of the next... We can actually choose one of four missions, because our HQ's here, so we've been kind of fighting for each tile. Um, these two are worth stars, primarily, and this one is worth... It's got the airfield, which I still don't know what that means. I think it's just a lot of stars. This one... These two both say plus research, maybe? I don't know. There's a research icon, so I'm going to go with that, the two-star one right there. Wait, is this the town we started the stream today on defense? It might be. The irony of getting the map now, after all this time. What does it say about me that the Hearts of Iron 4 OST is what I think of when I think World War II music? <laughs> I also think that, yeah. It's the same remap. Same, same remap. Okay, going on offense, here's the issue. I need stage four, but it's going to cost six. And I have to, that means I might have to save some research. Is it time to finally upgrade from 45th division to an actual rifle squad? Is it time to do supply trucks instead of supply trailers? Because then the supply truck can tow other stuff, also. I would assume. So it can just do two things at once. Ah, uh, is it time to get 81 millimeter mortars? And then replace our 60 mil? Because we have a 10 centimeter that we've been using for a while. And an 81 would be a nice upgrade. 90 millimeter M1A1 just instantly go top tier American flak. <laughs> You're never gonna bomb me again. I do think that it's entirely possible that um, our M3A1 stewards are about to get outplayed because I'm starting to see. Here's all the here's all the spoils of war. This thing's. Kind of crazy. 100 millimeter field arty boom. We're going to have to use that for ourselves. That's a five person team, man. This is going to be busted. We got another um, 3.7 centimeter flak. So we've got two. Of, yeah, we got two of those. I don't want two. So I'm going to sell this one because we have 1500 bucks. I don't want armored cars. I don't trust them. What is this guy? Is that a is that a 50 millimeter pack 38? Chat 38 is the year, L60 is the length? I don't know. I'm not sure. Either way, this thing's kind of crazy, right? Just rolling that around. I think we have to use this one. That's a resupply for sure. Get a team together. Okay, we got a Panzer III version E, which is not that good. Very, very low pin and not great armor. Like, honestly, our stewards are better. Though, I think that there's some asymmetry in this by default. Like, I believe that's the reason on the American research tree why researching the steward is five research points because since the americans entered the war later we're starting with tech that is like 1941 for americans and the germans are starting with pre-1938 tech 
So their tanks to unlock are like 1.1.1 1 point, 1 point, 1 point something to get down the list. But the Stuart's 5 to try to balance its technological advancement. It'd be the equivalent of putting all five, like 5 out of 6 of your starting points. Or 5 out of 9, I guess, or whatever, in the German tanks. So we surged getting the M3 Stuart real soon. But now I think the Germans are starting to push past where we are. And the Stuart's about to get outmatched. But yeah, I'm definitely selling this little guy. Panzer 38T, uh, light armor, decent penetration on the main gun. And then two MG37s. It's honestly not bad, but I have three Stuarts. So, I don't, I, I can't even field that many tanks right now. Unless you argue it's worth keeping just to have in your reserve. Just in case somebody goes boom on a mission. Then it's like, okay, yeah, I can see that. Panzer III F, better penetration, larger main cannon. Still not a lot of armor. And then we have another 38T. So, we have a lot of reserves. Let's get rid of this. There's a Stug 3. <laughs> this is such, like, an interesting visually tank. It's just such a low to the ground profile. Okay, not as good pin as I thought, but it is super armored. Like, 10 to 50 armor. On the whole. And then 50 additional armor. This thing's got crazy armor. Stug life. It also does not have a secondary gun. But it does have a 7.5 centimeter main cannon, which is huge. Big bullets. Big rounds. I'll hold on to it for a minute. Panzer Jaegers. That's got 82 millimeters of pin. How are our 57 millimeter guns? They're just 62 millimeters of penetration per. The reason why I don't really like these types of vehicles is because they have 13 armor and no additional armor. So they have a sick gun on top, but they're paper. And, um, I always, always lose these types of vehicles. Shoot and scoot. Yeah, that's a great strategy. If, if we were playing War Thunder. <laughs> not if you're controlling, uh, 20 to 30 units on the battlefield. This is way too much micro. You're sold. You're out. Okay, we got. Uh, they really need filters on this screen. There should be like f an all tab, a sort tab that puts like things together, and then an infantry, mechanized, motorized, and special tab. Because this is a mess. It gives me a little anxiety. Because it's a bit of a mess. Let's offload this. We're going on the offensive, and I need to do some research also. I recommend checking the tech tree version of the tank, because it shows last ammo used in for your tanks for penetration values. What? I think I know what you're trying to say, but I don't know what you're saying. I understand that there's different ammo and pin values, but I don't know what the tech tree version of the tank is.
Okay. Uh, while Chai figures out how to articulate things. Let's see. What do we want? Only four research points. And I need to save some if I want to get a, a fourth. I don't know how much research I'll get for the next one, but I need six to call in stage four. As in the ones you can buy, not the ones you own. Oh, this is the reinforcements tab. Where you buy enemies. The tech tree's here. The tech tree doesn't show any, any information on anybody. Um... I don't I don't also don't have any German tanks on my tech tree, so I can't compare them. Okay. Anyway, chat. Uh I think let's research I I really like mortars and I think being able to not have to depend on our one ten centimeter mortar that we stole from the Wehrmacht would be nice to be able to have our own. You know what? Screw saving research. I'm also gonna get... I'm just gonna go all in on the Stuart right now because the M3 Lee is eight and I ain't never gonna have that many points. So let's get the M5A1 Stuart. Let's try and tech up. All right, I wish the camera was a little lower, but here's our uh, M5A1. Let's compare. We can tow with tanks now. Oh, it does have a hitch. <laughs> it does have a hitch. Nice. All right, so the M3's got no additional armor, 10 to 44 hull armor, depending on what front sides are back, I guess. I wish it just told you instead of a dash. Uh, 12.7 to 51 turret armor. What's the weakest part of the turret? One would assume this part. And then this is the most reinforced? Or are they just talking about, like, this area right here? Because it has up to 51 turret armor, so I'm assuming this is, like, the 51, and then this is, like, the 12 on the, on the hatches. Or, like, literally the, this part. The little windows they have here is so funny. Okay. Anyway. It has a 37mm gun that has... Pretty great penetration for the M3A1, to be honest. Like, 95 to 69. It's, it's pretty stout. And then you've got three Browning 30 cows. Now the M5 A1, the Model 5 has 10 to 63 hull armor. So we're getting like 50% more armor on the top ends. And then turret is 12 to 50.8. So it's about the same turret armor, but like the main body is just much more rugged. And then the 37 millimeter M6 is I think around the same 81 to 69 pin. It's actually worse penetration at close range, <laughs> but it's still a lot. And then the three Browning 30 cows. So it's mostly just an armor upgrade for the hull. What's the M24 Chaffee? The M24 Chaffee is um, this guy. It's kind of a unit 75 millimeter gun with uh, Browning 50 cal attached. Chad, I remember Etal saying there was something specific about buying this game. Yeah, it's specifically Call to Arms Gates of Hell. Not Call to Arms. It's Call to Arms Gates of Hell Ostfront is this game. If you get regular Call to Arms, it is not this game. This was a mod for Call to Arms that got turned into a full release. 
And then there is DLC for the Gates of Hell Ostfront version of the game that has additional content. But also it goes on sale for like $8.50 for the base game. FYI. But yeah, the Chaffee is pretty good. Chaffee is kind of cool. Then we got the Snub Nose, which is like a howitzer field cannon for like anti-infantry boom. And then we got the M5 Stuart Late that has even more armor. Okay. <clears throat> we can afford a couple of these. And I got 2400 bucks. We're going to have a big reserve here. Unfortunately, the M5 costs five more points than the M3, which I didn't consider. So it's 25% more expensive for us to field. But it does have more armor. But we don't have that fourth reinforcement, so we're struggling on, on reinforced points. But it can tow, which is pretty cool. Which you can see the hitch on the back, or you can look at the link chain in the icon. Okay. Well, I gotta try it out. Let's put it, um... In this one. I'd say let's get two. And if we don't use the other M3A1s, they're still they're still there in the reserve, or we can trade them in. If we need money. Let's do two in the in this reserve. And then what else do I want to go in this squad? They can tow something in this squad. So maybe we pull in the 40 millimeter automatics and tow those with the M5A1 stewards for like a fairly rapid reinforce because they go 58 kilometers an hour. That's pretty respectable. So we'll throw both of our 40 millimeters in this squad. And then who else do I want to join late? Maybe fix the... Oh, the, this will is exploded. It's probably worth hiring a new guy because we still had this dude who's got three... Chevrons. What do you call those? 40 millimeter weighs two. Stewart can only tow one according to the icon. Oh, that's what the icon is. How can a... Oh, so that's what the little dots are for. I didn't know your ability to tow something was binary and not on a scale of how fast or slow you might go. Like, there's no way that this tank cannot tow this artillery. The icons were just added recently, so even I'm not 100% sure how the new system works. Okay, I guess so, because the Willis also only has a 1, but this has a 2. This truck right here. Okay, that's just this is just a stronger truck. They put a canopy on top instead of a gun. It's different. Whereas these trucks can tow 3. The supply trucks. And the aren't like the the troop transport trucks. Okay, I mean that's that's worth knowing. <clears throat> In which case, I don't. I wonder if towing an M forty five quad mount on the back of the steward is worth, <laughs> or not. <laughs> This is the stage of the campaign where you get a little bit of analysis paralysis, I'd say. These trucks are, are reasonably cheap. They're only 25 bucks, and they only take two. So you could just get this to tow the... Um... We can go boom, boom. Then we can do the automatics. 
Tow more ammo and rations. Yeah, I guess bringing some ammo in with them is a good idea. And we get a... I need more ammo because that one box went real fast. Where's the... I just passed it. Here it is. All right, we're at 86 out of 100 for this one. So we have about 14 more. Probably like one rifle division just to have some people would be good to put in here. Yeah, this is going to be some boom, some logistics, some more boom, and some more logistics. And then some, some boots on the ground to go move in and take some points. Okay, our, this is gonna, I like starting with group two, which is about 80 points. So this is going to be like our what we enter the game with. So let's enter the game with... We need a... Um, I, I regret to inform we need a new infantry platoon <laughs> HQ. Because they got wiped out. New officers are coming in to join us. How many seats do the tow jeeps have? Uh, they can support a crew of... They can they can actually hold eight. Uh, so they can hold six. Which is exactly how many people are in... Okay, five people are in a tank crew. So I might just do like... One tank crew. And then possibly a second tank crew. And we'll just have that instead. And then I have four points left over for either NGs, medics. Let's bring some medics in. Did the medics all die? Oh no, dude, I think the medics died. I don't see the medics on this menu. The menu is getting too big. Nope, there is one medic. Okay, we need more anyway. So we'll do infantry platoon HQ, 45th. Um, recon team, just for their eyeballs. Another medic. We're going to resupply these guys as we put them in. Who rescues medics anyway? More medics! Resupply the Willises. Probably use both. Um, okay, maybe not. I think we have too many cooks in the kitchen right now. Let's get the field gun, which has done some crazy work. The 75 millimeter for sure. I want them to have one of their big mortars, which may have actually exploded. I only see the 60 mil. Okay, there's the tin. So we bring the tin back in and there's only five space left. Which I don't have to use. Let's take an ammo crate. Just an ammo crate for the mortar and the field gun. All right, then I want anti-tank, which is the 57. Do I want two of our 50? Did we lose a 57? This is why you need to be able to sort. I can't, like my eyes can't see. I think we lost one. I want a second mortar. And uh, probably another artillery piece. Oh, let's bring in the new sick artillery that we just got. This one. I wish it told you what its, what its actual range is, though. Five person crew for this thing. And then we had this as well, didn't we? These things take up a lot of space. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't decided if we're actually going to take that right now because we have not that much infantry. We have very little, just two divisions of infantry, some recon, medics. The range is yes. We won't need that much infantry if we just win. Because this is a, this is good anti tank. This is good anti tank. This is just our good artillery. And then we have the Stewarts. I feel like we're we're doing good because you can also take crew out of these. 
The anti-tank half track will be great for defense, but on offense it may be difficult without a lot of micro. Yeah, it might be better just to park it somewhere instead of driving it around. Possibly. In that case, I'd like a little bit more anti-tank, so I might just buy another 57. And then I have room for seven. I think I'm going to bring another ammo crate and just go ham with artillery this time. What about the Willis's? Oh, I didn't bring any of my heavy machine gun bays. The 57 millimeter gets obsolete quickly. Uh, everything gets obsolete quickly. That's the point of the game. <laughs> Yes, we are playing a game, and there is a research tree that goes very fast, especially for the AI. Okay, um, let's just bring one of the Willis's in here and lock it in. Game time. It's difficult to plan because whatever you plan, you're stuck with. And I, I haven't lost yet. I wouldn't mind losing because we actually have a pretty good amount of reserve units and money. But then again, you, you do have a big swing because you're ostensibly feeling your best. So if you lose your best, then you only have what you can afford to buy. Or you're just playing with the reserve. What's up, Headless7? Thanks for 57 months. Appreciate the Prime, dude. Welcome back. You know what doesn't turn away from their lanes? Half-track anti-tank and anti-tank trucks. True. Okay. What's in the first group again? The Willis and some field guns. And then the second group is like tanks. We'll probably just save up for the second group and then do the first group last. Well, no, we'll do the first group. <sighs> so let's take a look. We have to push up a very long and narrow road that's probably heavily defended, or we could try and flank, but we're going to see. I feel like we just played on this map recently. Did we just play on this map recently? I don't know. Lots of, um, foxholes back here. I love that the foxholes are behind the objective, <laughs> which is not great for, like, these guys built these foxholes facing the wrong way. And then we got enemy reinforcements that are going to be sort of probing for our position and attacking soon. I've got forest, dense forest on either side, and then some roads that lead up the middle. So it seems like our best bet is to just camp the roads before they can camp the roads. Right? Okay, this is our jumbo field artillery piece. Yes, which I'm gonna move up to here. Ready to roll. I'm going to get one of our anti-tanks set up here. The other anti-tank set up here. Our field arty. In the middle. And then get the Willis kind of parked over this way. All right, then the mortar teams. And then we got a scout vehicle. Forward. 
This map had the uphill road with six destroyed tanks. Kind of hard to see bar. where it's possible for these dudes to come from because this I wish there was like a hide trees button Because you have to get a lay of the land like I don't want them to You have to basically just zoom in really far and then that'll hide the trees They already see people? How far back can this thing shoot from? I'm ready. The answer is yes. Watch out for that cannon! How? What? How can they see us from this far away, dude? We're up in the hills behind the trees. Maybe because we're shooting at them and so they're shooting at us. Here's the problem. I can't see anything. Do you have to deploy the big gun? Maybe. Suppressing fire. Wait you... it, sir. What if I told you you guys have multiple foxholes that you could be in? It's deployed now. Chat, I got problems. <laughs> Yo, chat, I got some freaking problems, dude. I think it's set to hold fire? Oh, it is. Now it's not. There we go. The treetops are so dead, dude. Also, I don't know what we killed, but we just killed something huge. What did we blow up, man? Tank commander? Tanks are dead? Already on it. Ready. I'm hit. Enemy machine gun! Literally just get in a foxhole, soldier. Heal yourself. Ready to fire. Look out, enemy armor Look out, enemy armor. Oh my god. I guess we have pretty good visibility on the town. <laughs> this is broken, man. I haven't even left spawn. And I, okay, when they start using this against me, what am I supposed to do? Just charge into them? This seems busted. Chat artillery is OP. Of 
Maybe I How do you aim with this? Hammer him down. You just let the The answer is you just let the AI do it. I've started playing with the unit cards on so I can actually see where my troops are when they're you go, sir. inside the forest like this. Ready, sir. All right, I'm just keeping this artillery like topped off for now. And then we have these guys like right here. You can move the camera in the free look control mode. Oh, true. But how do you move like the camera camera. Let's shoot let's shoot at this. Oh I don't even need to know where they are. I just got four kills. The reload time is not short though. You have to enter free look while already over the area you want to hit. Oh, so I could just be like, yo, screw, screw these guys in particular, though. That's <laughs> so silly. Like, I can just go... I can bring the boom anywhere I want. Uh, unfortunately, this time our target is a church. Yo, what's up, raiders? Nerd Castle. Hello, Spider Cat. Twitch abbreviates your name with the raider icon, so it looks like Splatter Splatter Cat Gamir, which is an interesting abbreviation. What up, J D Z? Hello, Andrew. What's up? Welcome back, Def Do. Hey, guys. Brian Whitaker, how's it going? Always happy to have the Nerd Castle. We are in the thick of World War II right now, which is not uncommon on this channel. We're playing a game called specifically Call to Arms, Gates of Hell, Ostfront, not to be confused with Call to Arms. This started out as a mod for Call to Arms, and then they made it into a full game with its own DLC. Uh, the first game is not World War II era, but this one is. And it's a real-time strategy game that kind of combines the gameplay of, in my opinion, like Company of Heroes, Total War, and more realistic, low HP, like War Thunder-esque, where you can control every single unit in the game in first person or third person if you want to. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you played Men of War, it's a lot like Men of War. I think you may even use the same engine. Uh, we're currently attacking we're doing an American campaign right now. We tried a Finland campaign. We have all the DLC. I'm not playing with any mods for this mod. Um, there's American, German, Soviet, and Finland factions. <laughs> and here's an example of what we can do. We just learned that I can control artillery myself. So I'm using this guy back here. And I'm taking manual control, which you can zoom all the way in. Which this is a cool perspective also. Kind of gives you more of a bird's eye view so you know where you're actually shooting. But yeah, you can take control and if I want to bomb over there... I can do that. Or if I think that there's some dudes that are possibly resting in this uh, crossroads, I can take control... without going into first person and then potentially like hammer this crossroad back here oh i think i shot before they were done turning <laughs> yeah that that happens sometimes they've already blown up a tank 
maybe there's some people over here in this uh trench possibly let's 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 find out accuracy may vary depending on how far away the target is uh, but yeah, it's very difficult, very micromanaged, kind of heavy, like, it, it reminds me of micromanaging units in Total War, where you have to, like, tell the medics who you can become. You can, you can take the shots, you can roam around. I w usually you only want to do this for certain types of units, otherwise it's better to just be zoomed out. But you might want to tell them to hold their fire, because friendly fire is a thing. And it's extremely punishing. You have logistics, so we've got ammo crates, making sure to keep our mortars topped off. And then going back and forth over here. Looks like they've spotted a tank. And armor detail includes like front, side, rear armor. It has weak spots. Just like in your favorite uh, free-to-play tank sims. <laughs> and holding a position some distance away is a tactic the AI will use against you also. That's what makes it difficult. This poor dude is getting his socks rocked. They have no concept of withholding firepower. We're also about to bring in some tank reinforcements. All right, reinforcements have arrived. We've just picked up M5 Stewarts. And we're going to use them to tow some supplies to our front line. Anyway, that's just a little heads up of how the game is. I do appreciate the raid. Welcome, Nerd Castle. Once again, just want to give you like a heads up on what we're doing here. And if you're in my chat and you haven't already followed Splattercat, now is a great time to do so. I know that you've been playing a number of different things, Splat, if you're still hanging out here after that long explanation. And I hope that you pinning all of your hopes on Road to Vostok pays off for all of us. <laughs> I also hope that there is a new realistic uh, first-person game that I can sink my teeth into. But please toss Splat a follow if you're in my chat and uh, you haven't checked them out already. Usually start streaming before before I do and still keeps up a fantastic YouTube presence as well. Checking up all manner of games. You can click that button at the top of your chat now. Okay. Uh, now that we're bringing in reinforcements, let's, let's figure out how... I, I feel like our front line is very safe. On the way. Front line feels pretty safe. We're on offense. I'm only time limited by the points at the top. I'm playing in a dynamic campaign right now. Which is a little bit... Oh, a little bit more sandboxy. <laughs> uh, these are some classic points that we need to cap. So we need to cap C right here. And then we need to cap B over here before they get to a thousand victory points. If I win that battle, we go back to kind of a map. And on that map, we'll be attacked. So we, we kind of exchange offense and defense. So we're on offense right now. And I can't really see too much of what's going on back here. So Chad, what's interesting is we can hook up. Yeah, yeah, this is the correct car. But we've got some, uh, wow, somebody just died. We didn't resupply our supply cart. Hilarious. Hilarious. I forgot to hit the resupply button. Luckily, we have two. And there's still some supplies in there. Ready, so it could be worse. Ready. Orders, sir? I'm ready. Always, ready sir. Sir. Always ready. All right, let's get out of the, the tree line over here, guys, so I can see what we're doing. 
Is this real time? It is real time with pausing, but unfortunately you really can't issue any commands while pausing. So frequently you'll have to do what I'm doing here, which is because the AI is just brutal in this game. And they're in the dynamic campaign, there is no saving during a battle. Um, in the in the story campaign where there's like missions that you can do, you can save frequently. But yeah, I'm frequently going to just pause, click on a unit, unpause, give them an order, and then pause again because it's it's so overwhelming to manage the, like one to two dozen units at a time while the AI is is running circles around you. <laughs> I I wish you could issue more orders while paused. But it it is real time, yeah. The AI has the advantage of not needing a human brain. Very true. <sighs> okay. I kind of like how we're set up right now. We've got artillery, covering, and advance. And if any... The AI will send out scouts. <laughs> to try and prod our position, and they're also sending in reinforcements from, from off-map. So I'm just gonna trust in that. Alright, I'm gonna start moving. This artillery does not play around, dude. It does not play around. All right, we've also got some recon over here that I can kind of drive. We do, we're just looking for red dots on the map. Anytime there's red dots on the map, it's time to panic. Ready to go, sir. All right, we're gonna break off. How do you how do you break off the trailer? With there we go. Actually, you guys stay attached for now. Because I don't trust you. Ready to roll, sir. Hi, sir. The AI will grenade themselves. Self sabotage? He grenaded himself. Did that just happen? Are you sure he didn't throw a smoke? Probably threw a smoke at his feet. Which, fun fact, there are phosphorus smoke grenades that can catch you on fire. If you stand up. All right, I'm moving my uh, supplies up since these guys are using a lot of... Oh, enemy tanks. Sometimes the AI... That is too accurate. That's too accurate. Enemy AI is not the smartest. This guy's got some crazy armor, dude. So this is why I really have been enjoying Call to Arms, Gates of Hell. It's easier to show than to tell. This game is I, really difficult, though. I have to stress. There is a high learning curve. It has a lot of micromanagement, and it also is kind of expensive right now because it usually goes on sale for like $8. Yes, sir. 
and 50 cents. Also, the tutorial is oddly focused on throwing grenades. Yeah, the, tut the tutorial's not great, for sure. I think this card is already out of ammo. Which is highly unfortunate. Alright, I think it's time to move up. So here's my plan. I'm gonna park this scout car in the middle of the forest. And we're just gonna like park the scout vehicle. Have they been updating it frequently? Yeah, apparently there was a big audio pass like last month, Mr. Rivers, like a month ago. We're going to turn the engines off. I think it's still getting updated, and they have a roadmap, do they not? I'm ready. Apparently reworking some of the dynamic campaigns ready on the roadmap. Go, All right, we're going to make sure the scouts only return fire, because we don't want them to give away their positions so that we can kind of like... I'm going to go start crawling here, just so that we don't get seen. We have a little bit of time. We need to start focusing on the objective, though. We're at like 300 points. This year we'll have another DLC and three major updates. Really? I love the campaign in this and Men of War, and it's one of the few strategies I'm any good at in multiplayer. Yeah, this game it feels like is made for multiplayer, but I am not that kind of... I'm not built like that, you know what I'm saying? So when your scouts are scouting like this... Your artillery can get to work. You can also play this in co-op. Yep. You can play co-op versus the AI. Which I would think is probably amazing. Alright, I'm, I'm pretty confident with where the scouts are. But we're going to belly crawl up to another forward position. You're all looking the wrong way, but I know your heart's in the right place. Yo, this is brutal, dude. Yes, sir. All right, I'm moving the tanks up. And then I'm gonna get some infantry up. And just trust in, trust in the artillery. Hopefully they have ammo. I'm gonna throw a smoke. Try to give the boys a little cover. I 
can't hit. I can't hit these guys. Who's still blowing stuff up around me? There's somebody there. Enemy destroyed. Who's this little dude? Hang on it, sir. Hurry up. All right, we need to start rolling. Um, is that friendly or enemy arty? I mean, uh, mortar fire. I guess that's enemy. I don't know where the mortars are. All right, I'm gonna move up the officers. We got a little tank crossfire action here. I'm gonna take this opportunity to start rolling a couple of field guns up. <laughs> I, got, I got another idea, chat. Got another idea. We're going to move the scouts up on this side also. I need to move this truck where it's out of the way. How many dudes are there? Okay, so mortars are up. Who's in the back? Officers? Officers, are you ready, bros? You're the one that's gonna give us the maximum visibility on these guys. I'm not sure this was a good point that we just... the artillery here's the hold on hold on hold on i found the mortar they're back here they're right there but i don't have any special ability to take them out do i i basically just have to shoot him with the tank Good enough to kill this dude. Alright, I think he's dead.
Somebody's shooting me with like a... Like a rifle... Anti-tank rifle. We're just going to chill there. Yes! I would love nothing more than to actually move up. But the mortars are scaring me, I guess. Dude, is the 10 centimeter artillery actually hitting from here to the middle of the map? Once the enemy AI starts using artillery, I'm dead. 10 centimeter MVP. I understand it's probably realistic. I'm not sure if it's gonna translate to a long-term, um, long-term gameplay fun. Uh oh. Tank crew dead. Oh. Did I just? Okay, so I forgot this was over here, and um, there was a driver and an entire tank crew inside of this thing when it blew up. I f I forgot this was over here. Oops. Rip to their families. Now I feel bad. Oh, you're... No, I, I, if the AA shot the Jeep, it would have had friendly fire in the top right. It did not. <sighs> AI. Enemy AI. Chat just making stuff up. This is why the game's hard, though, because of all the stuff you've really got to, like, get good at microing. So my actual tanks are alive. It's just the tank crew is dead. These mortars, though. All right, we're going to roll that all the way over. I'm just going to start spreading some artillery around so we just have, like, constant... Constant good stuff happening all the time, you know? Oh, this guy's alive. Over here, medic. Any orders, sir? Enemy artillery up ahead. Stay low. Ready to go. Let's roll this back a little. All right, we're actually capping the points. But we got we got problems. Who just shot me? Oh. This guy did. That's a Panzer 3F. Why does this tank seem so uninterested in fighting back? Every time he takes a shot, he turns to shoot somebody else. <laughs> okay, they've still got an issue called... I can't see where their mortar team is. 
And I think I know part of the problem. I found the problem. I found the problem. The problem is the enemy AI cheats. That was terrible timing. The AI cheats. Uh, that was like an insane amount of dudes that just died in one blast. Has this thing finally hit max range? I think it's time to move it up. Alright, I'm just gonna get killed by more mortar fire unless I figure out who's shooting the mortars and from where. I have to assume it's over here. Actually, it's from over here. Sometimes you gotta do it yourself. They are Turn shooting mortars over here, though. Okay, there's a lot of chaos going on. It's kind of hard to keep track of. Oh, they are pouring in. They are pouring in, bro. I'm gonna trust in the boys to hold the line. Alright, we gotta go we gotta go find them before they get us. I see it on the minimap. They're gonna get us sooner or later. They're like right here, dude. All right, we took care of one. Took care of one with the scouts. Good use of scouts. All right, I'm gonna move my boys up to this wall. I wanna give them some arty support. We still got ammo in this one. I'm gonna start rolling some of the big guns up. I'm a little scared about friendly fire, but so far, seems okay. This thing is pinpoint accurate, dude. Uh, we got fast mover approaching. Gotta reload.
There we go. Had to have a little help there. Okay, this guy's kind of useless over here, so I might have the truck grab him and then yoink him somewhere else. I'm a little scared of the friendly fire potential here. They're back on the mortar. Yeah, they are. Where'd they move it, though? Shoot them! You can see that guy through the window! The wall's in the way. Get down, get down! How can you not see this? Look out, boys, MG! Not enough! I'll do it myself! Stay low! Get your ass, get cover! Yes, sir! All right, we gotta trust in the rest of the gang. I'm just gonna steal this one. Enemy artillery. And then run. <laughs> Back here. Oh God. Not good timing. We need some flak support. Flak support. You're close! Ten seconds. Uh, did our boys die? No, they're just in the middle of the road! What are you doing here? Did you get stuck? Pathfinding is hard, I understand. What the heck is happening down the way? Where do you shoot on this chat? Where do you aim? Apparently not there. Change to AP. Oh, we're on a high explosive. No wonder I can't. Traversal's broken. He he he. He he he. Oh god. I blame that on the tank crew. <laughs> Why would they have high explosive in there? Why would they have high explosive in there, bro? Destroy that Ready to fire. Do 
I can't hit it because of the snow. The enemy tank is tracked. Yeah, the, the artillery will kill it eventually. Chat, we got limited amount of time to make our way to the other objective. And we're taking some casualties. We're taking some casualties. <laughs> Probably need to keep this thing stocked up. What? Tank crew? Did they kill the other tank? No? Oh, the other jeep? Oh no, I keep letting my tank chat. We can't leave the tank crew inside the jeeps anymore because the jeeps are getting, uh, they're getting blown up, dude. I got blown up by the stupid tank because I drove in front of them. The game just crashed. I'm not joking. The game actually crashed. <sighs> Devs. You're, you're better than Dragon's Dogma. Add the ability to save in the middle of dynamic battle. I'm not telling you that you have to fix every single bug that's in the game. Just add the ability to save and autosave during a dynamic battle and let people save scum if they want. It would solve so many problems. Okay, with that, I'm gonna take a BRB, because I need to take a BRB anyway. And then I have to decide what to do. Because I really don't want to do this, like, another same attack mission. I'm thinking about just starting a Finland campaign again, like I, like I thought about before. Maybe it'll be less bugged. Because we've crashed twice now on this campaign. So many games I've quit playing because of no saving. Just, like, I understand you can't fix every game-breaking bug. I get it. It's hard. There's thousands of them. But you can add the ability to save progress and circumvent that issue. Wait, I think I want to start a Finland campaign and just start over because, I don't know, maybe this save is bugged? I have never had a crash that it... like that? It's insane you've gotten it twice. You have the streamer curse. I do, yeah. I mean, that battle was going well. Battle was going well. But I'd rather just, like... Create a new conquest and maybe try Finland again. America was fun. I liked, I enjoyed the US. I think that the Stuart is a ton of fun. Stuart's great fun. I also really enjoy the Willis. Like, the US campaign is worth playing just for the Willis and the Stuart. Then the save files get bugged? Yeah, but you can have more than one save. There's never been a game where every save is bugged. I'm allergic to every game save getting bugged. But yeah, USA was fun. I'm, I'm worried that my save might be something wrong with it. If it makes you feel better, America takes too long to get to good Shermans, and fielding five Shermans doesn't feel as cool as it should. Eh, it's okay. I don't mind starting a new campaign. I, I like the early game in this a lot. The early game is fun, easier to play without pausing as much, and I think the Finland campaign we have some experience on. Super Perkele. 
Hard difficulty, medium economy, large campaign size. Finland versus Soviets again. We've, we've played Finland a few times, and it's tough. Because Finland is weird. Finland is really weird. They have old men, literal elderly people in their civil guard. They have their reserve squad, which only have level two rifle accuracy. Also, this music's from um, Hearts of Iron, for the record. And <laughs> they get they get a 37 PST or yeah. <laughs> Look at this little guy. But I really don't mind starting over in this game, so it's not that big of a deal because it's just less stress inducing. And I think the Finland maps I enjoy more. I don't think that they're better made from like a craftsmanship standpoint. They're just like less crazy city street micro a little bit more open field fun i don't mind some village and cities but it was like i feel like the u.s maps in west chat western europe is too populated it's what i'm trying to say bicycle infantry to win get on your bike but yeah playing as finland is is interesting exercise because of how they start we get anti-tank guns on sleds uh, for some reason, they're allowed to just go straight to a supply truck for only one research point, whereas the Americans have to put in, like, three. <laughs> um, also, I want to say that Finland is stronger if in terms of, of infantry, because their rifle squad is only two research points, and they have level three shooting skills... Whereas the Americans get a rifle squad with level 3 shooting accuracy, but it costs 24 deployment power versus this one's like 10 or 12. However, the Americans get semi-automatic rifles, so I guess that's the difference maker. And also, uh, Finland gets to start with... We might do some some anti-air. Did I just double... Dude, I didn't know double-clicking automatically does a research. I didn't mean to research that. The America has Lin leases for every truck. Probably. So... Uh, going back to basics, we're going to have next to nothing, but it's going to be fun. Uh, I think I already know what I want to do, and I've, I've honed this strategy from previous campaigns. It might be questionable to some of you. We're going to get the mortar, the 50k RH-38, which is a small baby mortar, but it'll get the job done. This little guy right here. So small. All right, we're going to get a mortar. We're going to get the FT-17 Maxim. <laughs> and this is going to be glorious. You have no idea. We're going to get stage two. We, can't, we don't have much money at the beginning, so even though we can research different things, we don't really have that much cash. We're going to get a proper rifle squad. I think upgrading is important for Finland because the accuracy just goes up and their deployment cost is really not that much higher, I think. And then I have two points left, which I usually devote to artillery, even though I can't afford the artillery right now. So we are going to want... Field cannons. The other option is just go straight to the 45 PSTK. And just skip this entirely. But I think I'm just going to spend it on this 76 for the future. Just to get some points in artillery. Even though I don't think we can afford it right now. 
Okay. <clears throat> now, what do we have to have? Look at this, baby. Look at this. FT-17 Maxim. 8 kilometers an hour top speed. 6 to 16 hull armor. And a single machine gun. Let's see when this entered service. Okay, the Renault FT was 1917 to 1949. This is a 1917, probably like top of the line World War One tank. The US Army was operating FTs on the Western Front in 1918 and French forces. Things crazy. Okay, anyway, we need one of those. That's a hundred bucks. I have like 900 total. We for sure need one mortar. I can't I can't have my first offense without a mortar. We for sure need a 37 PST. I have 385 left. That's not a lot. See, look at the rifle squad, right? Okay, never mind. It's double. It is 20. That's comparable to the Americans. Except the Americans get semi-automatic rifles for only like a few extra points. Never mind. But in my opinion, it's worth having better troops who have level 3 accuracy. 200 HP, 125 stamina. So they have more HP, more stamina, more accuracy than the reserves, but cost twice as much. So we definitely want a rifle squad. That takes up a lot. We have a second reserve. We're going to run out of money before we run out of people. I want um, medics, because rifle squad's pretty big. I want an ammo crate. Because I don't don't leave home without it. And then spotlights are cool, but I don't like using spotlights on offense. Could take an officer for some line of sight. It's a little extra micro. I don't think I can I afford an officer and a rifle squad. Barely, yeah. We're kind of depending on our 37 for all anti-armor. I don't like anti-tank detachments. Because they'll shoot this at, at people. They'll shoot this at people. And then waste all their ammo. And then they won't have enough for tanks. And, I, and microing, that is too much work. Did he win his last campaign? My game crashed while we were winning. So I decided to just start a new campaign. Because the early game is a little, is is very fun in this for me. Especially playing as Finland. We were, we were winning pretty hard though. Okay, last. Uh, you don't necessarily need a tank crew right at the beginning, but you can. I'm gonna say, let's grab an officer. And then a second rifle squad. There we go. Efficient use of money. Uh, let's just do the one star first. What does an officer do? He has binoculars and can see much further. I'm not sure if he has other benefits. He has high stats for his person. By the way, Miss Lissa, thank you for the 78 month sub earlier. I missed it. My bad. My bad. Thank you for seven, though. All right, Soviet Union. I'm back and I'm angry. Ooh, look at this map. And this one's interesting. I assume that's deep water. It doesn't look deep. <laughs> it does get deep though. Right there. All right, they're gonna reinforce from here and our control points are like in this pocket, which is and very, very, very spicy. All right, gamers, I got to take a gamer death break. So enjoy our Finland crew getting ready for battle up here while I P 
PC did not just blue screen. Um, campaign crashed new Finland campaign after BRB. I mean, this this is the Finland campaign. I already started it. But I'll be back in just a minute. Thanks for hanging out today. Thanks, Raiders, who have been watching. Sorry that today's been a weird tech issue day. <laughs> but it's all good. Hope you're still having fun. And thanks for chilling. I'll be right back.